Hello my dear students, a very warm good morning to you all. In our previous video, I have explained the first two stanzas of the poem If, which is written by Rudyard Kipling. Today we will start with the third stanza of the poem If. If you can make one heap of all your winnings and risk it on one turn of pitch and toss and lose and start again at your beginnings and never breathe a word about your loss. Now pitch and toss. Pitch and toss is a game which is played with coin. Now here the poet says that you should be able to gather all you have and take a risk in one turn of the game. Now here pitch and toss is used for risk. So the poet says that you should take risk in your life and lose and start again at your beginnings and never breathe a word about your loss. Here the poet says that you may lose the game and all your possessions but you have to stay calm without uttering a word about your loss and you have to rebuild it from the beginning. You have to start building it from the beginning. Now here the poet talks about the capability of taking risk. See if you want to achieve something bigger in life, we have to take risk. So to achieve much greater success, we have to take risk and after taking risk, if we fail to achieve anything if we lose it then we should keep quiet we should not talk about the loss and we should not repent over the loss rather we should try to start it again from the beginning now suppose uh, if you have opened a shop and uh, it did not work well you suffered a loss in it so you should not keep on repenting over it rather you should think of some new ideas and you have to restart it again So according to the poet, this is the another aspect of our mental toughness that we need to possess. So we should be mentally strong to face any challenge in your life. If you can force your heart and nerve and sinew. Sinew means a cord connecting a muscle to a bone. So heart, nerve, sinew, these are all body parts. In these four lines, the poet talks about the same thing that is mental strength. Mentally, you should be strong and you should have the willpower. So you have to force your body that is heart, nerve and sinew to serve you even after it has lost the strength. Even if your body parts have lost the strength, maybe due to old age or maybe due to illness or maybe due to any other reason, if your body has lost the strength, then you should keep 
on working by the power of will your will power should be much stronger if you have strong will power you can achieve anything so this will power says to hold on says your body parts your body to hold on not to give up okay so even in any situation you should keep going you should not give up if you want to do something great from your heart the will inside you would prevent the body from getting tired if you have strong will power so it will prevent your body from getting tired let's move ahead let's discuss about the figures of speech so see the first line if you can make one heap of all your winnings so here one of the beginning word is repeated so here the figure of speech is alliteration when the beginning sound is repeated then it is alliteration now see the next line and risk it on one turn of pitch and toss now in this line there is symbolism now pitch and toss this is a game but here in this poem it is used uh, as a symbol for risk okay now see the last line of this stanza except the will which says to them hold on now here there is personification will is personified as a person who encourages you not to give up see a person can encourage you don't give up isn't it but that pers- quality of a person human quality is given to will and so it is personification now let's move towards our fourth stanza if you can talk with crowds and keep your virtue or walk with kings nor lose the common touch virtue means your good deeds your moral values okay so here the poet says that you should stay in touch with the people from every class of society in society there are rich poor people middle class people poor people isn't it so you should stay in touch with each and every class of the society you should be able to talk with common people without losing your moral values the poet also says that you should be able to walk with kings without going beyond the reach of common people so even if you walk with a king you should not forget the common people now here crowds crowds means people so people are of different class different type so the poet wants to say that you should be in touch with every kind of people and here kings represent rich people okay so here the poet says that 
द कॉमन टच वुड हेल्प यू रियलाइज द रियालिटी एंड फील द नीड्स ऑफ द सोसायटी सो इवन इफ यू बिकम रिच और यू गेट एन अपॉर्चुनिटी टू सिट विथ रिच पीपल यू शुड नॉट फर्गेट योर रूट्स फ्रॉम वेर यू हैव कम द नोबल टच वुड गिव यू द पावर एंड अपॉर्चुनिटी टू रीच हायर गोल्स सो दिस हाई क्लास पीपल दे कैन गिव यू द अपॉर्चुनिटी टू रीच द हायर गोल्स बट वंस यू रीच द हायर गोल्स यू शुड नॉट फॉरगेट योर रूट्स फ्रॉम वेर यू हैव कम यू शुड नॉट फॉरगेट अबाउट द कॉमन पीपल If neither foes nor loving friends can hurt you, foes means enemy. If all men count with you but none too much, count with you means are important to you. Now you should develop your personality in such a way that neither your enemies nor your friends can hurt you. So mentally. you should be strong enough so that your enemies or your friends cannot hurt you you should develop very good relations with everyone around you and you should not allow anyone to harm you so if you develop a personality in the right way then everyone will support you and give you importance so here you also should give importance to everyone but you should not give too much importance so if you give too much importance then what happened you get emotionally attached with that person and because of that your freedom may be restricted or it can prevent you from doing your duty or you may also feel satisfied that you are very much liked by the people and you will not work hard you will not put all your efforts in your work if you can fill the unforgiving minute with 60 seconds worth of distance now here the poet is talking about time time is precious now you all know that one minute is filled with 60 seconds 60 seconds make a minute so here minute is called unforgiving as it waits for none you know time waits for none and if you waste the time time will never come back it will never forgive you so you should utilize every minute of your life you should not waste a single minute of your time our life is very short and in this short span of life we cannot afford wasting time so always utilize your time wisely because tomorrow never comes whatever you need to do do it today itself see many times you keep your work pending i'll do it tomorrow i'll do it tomorrow isn't it and you're just wasting time but if the time once passed it never comes back so you should utilize your time wisely yours is the earth and everything that's in it and 
which is more you will be a man my son now if we fulfill all the conditions which are mentioned in this poem so you see every clause starts with if so that so all clauses are conditions right so if you fulfill all these conditions which are mentioned above then you will achieve something in your life you can win the earth and everything in it you can go to the top of the world and rule over everything and what more you want you would be a perfect human being now here win the earth or rule the earth it does not have the literal meaning so here the poet wants to say that if we possess all the good qualities then you will become very successful in life and you will win the hearts of people so once you win the hearts of people it means you win the earth okay now let us see the figures of speech used in this last stanza so see the first line if you can talk with crowds and keep your virtue now here crowds is used as a symbol it is a symbol for common people so the figure of speech is symbolism or walk with kings nor lose the common touch now here the word kings is used as a symbol for important people in the society and common touch is used as a symbol for humility so here also there is symbolism now see the line if you can feel the unforgiving minute here the figure of speech is personification now minute that is time is given the human quality of unforgiving to forgive or not to forgive it is a human quality and it is given to the time so here the figure of speech is personification see the next line with 60 seconds worth of distance run 60 seconds s sound is repeated the beginning sound is repeated so it is alliteration figure of speech here is alliteration yours is the earth and everything that's in it here it is symbolism because this line is not to be taken literally here the poet wants to say that if we have all the good qualities you would become successful and win the hearts of other so to win the heart of other is termed to win the earth so here it is symbolism so through this poem we get the message that we should take the risk in life and you should not lose your hope 
even when the things do not work according to your wish even if you lose everything you should not lose your hope you should keep on trying never give up also here we get the message that whenever we become successful when we reach success you should mix with common people you should not forget your common touch you should not lose your individuality so that's it for today i hope you have understood the poem thank you